Hey folks, Michael here with Primal Edge. In today's video, we're channeling our inner Severus Snape and doing a bit of potion making. Well, prop potion making anyway. Yep, this is my favorite time of year. The time when blistering summer heat gives way to cool afternoon breezes and crisp evening air. When twilight begins to encroach on the afternoon sun and leaves begin their metamorphosis from lush green to those familiar amber and red hues. Days at the beach get replaced by evening bonfires, barbecue and daiquiris become s'mores and hot cider. Ah yes, autumn, my favorite time of year. It's not only the season, but the holidays, and aside from Christmas, my favorite has to be Halloween. So, in preparation for that most frightening festivity, All Hallows Eve, I thought it fitting to show you guys how I make my potion bottles. No big surprise, it starts in Photoshop. Uh, more here, I'm showing you the process rather than the details. Obviously, the type of potion you choose to make and the artwork you find, or perhaps custom create yourself, will no doubt be unique to you and your taste. Once done, I print the design on some custom paper I bought way, way back when at Walmart. Of course, if you don't have time to run to Walmart or would rather not add the extra expense, you can certainly aid your own printer paper using tea, coffee, any dark stainable liquid really, along with a warm oven. There are tons of videos online that can walk you through the process step by step. Today I'm taking a shortcut. Once you have the label, next you'll need to get yourself a vessel for your elixir. I'm using an empty root beer bottle with an old fashioned pop top. I prefer that style to the ones that have the screw cap, help sell the aged look I'm going for. Removing and cleaning the label can vary greatly from brand to brand. It all depends on what material they use and how they affix it. This brand was especially difficult and required mechanical as well as chemical persuasion. Nothing a bit of mineral spirits couldn't handle. At this point, you're ready to turn your modern day bottle of soda into a centuries old alchemical brew with fantastical properties. Go ahead and cut out your label. Add a dab of Mod Podge. Let it sit for about 20 or 40 seconds, then place it on the bottle. Take the time to line it up to your liking, then give it a few minutes to tack up good and tight. Add some podge to the outside just to protect your work and leave it to get nice and dry. 20 minutes should be more than enough time. Now sit tight, hold one second, we are not done yet. Just one more thing to sell the effect. For this, I'm using 3M adhesive spray. Uh, overkill doesn't quite cover it. You by no means need to waste the strength or the money of 3M adhesive on this next part. If I had some on hand, I'd have preferred the cheapest dollar store Aquanet hairspray I could find, as long as it's aerosol. With whichever product you decide, give your bottle a very faint misting and then fill your hand with good old fashioned baby powder. Yes, baby powder. While the bottle's still tacky, gently blow the powder out of your hands and let it fall gracefully along the bottle. This will mimic that dusty etched kind of a look I want to achieve. I've also seen folks use sandpaper to try and sell this illusion. You can try it if you'd like. Personally, I find this method orders of magnitude easier and significantly more persuasive in selling this particular effect. When you're done, you've got yourself a realistic prop for Halloween, perfect for parties or general holiday decoration. I usually place them on a bookshelf along with other props, skulls, bone, old books, and a few twinkling tea lights. The lights are quite affordable at the dollar store, and if you take a bit of hot glue to the edges, paint them with a little bit of craft paint, off-white preferably, you have an effective candle prop. I hope this gives you a few ideas to help you decorate and celebrate this Halloween. Thanks for tuning in, folks. You all have a great day, and I'll see you soon.